Hi everybody and welcome to Springfield Southwick's mini series on how to incorporate more whole grains, fruits and veggies, and protein foods into your diet. My name is Sarah and I will talk about why each of these food groups are important and I will also show you how to make three different recipes that will hopefully not only spark interest in your mind on how you can incorporate these foods in your life, but to also give you an idea on how you can use your WIC benefits to help reach your goals and to eat an overall healthy diet. So please follow along and I hope you enjoy. This video is all things fruits and veggies. Now, fruits and vegetables are such an important component of a healthy diet at every stage of life. And this is because they are packed with essential nutrients. Fruits and veggies have potassium, which helps our hearts work properly by maintaining a healthy blood pressure. Fruits and veggies also have fiber, which helps our digestive systems work properly. And they also have vitamin C, which is important for the growth and repair of our body tissues and can help heal cuts and wounds and it keeps our gums healthy too. My favorite way to get enough fruits and veggies in my diet is to build awesome salads. So I'm gonna show you guys how to build a salad that's called triple berry kale salad. This salad is packed with fruits and veggies and all the nutrients that come along with it. And I'm also gonna show you guys a few tips on how to prepare, prepare a salad that has kale in it so it has less bitterness and more flavor. So please follow along and learn how to make this amazing triple berry kale salad. Here are the materials needed to make this triple berry kale salad. We need a cutting mat or a cutting board, a knife, measuring cups and spoons, a bowl, and what's not pictured here is a blender or a food processor. What's optional is if you have a salad spinner, you can definitely use that for this recipe. Otherwise, it's not necessary and you can just pat your kale dry. The ingredients that you need to make this recipe, you can get a bunch of them with your WIC benefits. Those foods include the kale, the fruits that we will use, so strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries. You can also get the bell pepper, the red onion, the low-fat plain Greek yogurt, and the low-fat milk with your WIC benefits. The other foods that you will also need to get is apple cider vinegar, some sugar, feta cheese, and edamame. So there's a few tips to make your kale not so bitter when you put in a salad. The first tip is to rip up the kale into smaller pieces. The second tip is to add just a little bit of olive oil on the kale and massage it for a few minutes. That'll strip away all the bitterness and all you will be left with is all that good kale flavor. Chopping up the toppings to your salad is another great way to add even more flavors with each bite that you eat. If you think about it, if you chop up each of your toppings into small pieces, you will be able to add more toppings to each bite that you eat of your salad. So I definitely encourage you guys to try to see what you can do with your knife skills and chop up those veggies and those fruit pieces really small. onion diced in the small pieces and if you're also comfortable with your knife I would recommend you guys trying to do what I do in this video so after I peel my onion I do these slits these cuts right across how I'm showing you now but I don't cut it all the way through the onion if you're not comfortable with your knife I would recommend skipping that step after that I make a few more slits cutting down the onion just like I'm showing you now and then after I make all those slits all across the onion, I turn it to the side and then I go ahead and start dicing it up. And you'll see here that after I make these cuts here, the onion is chopped into small pieces and it's perfect.
Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you check out the other videos in this mini-series. I also hope that you learned a lot about why fruits and vegetables are good for our health. See you next time on Springfield South Wicks mini-series. Thank you.